This video covers scientific notation, an important concept in IB Maths AI in topic one, number and algebra. Now scientific notation is an important skill to grasp as often IB exam questions will ask to leave your form in scientific notation, especially if it's either a very large or a very small number. So you might have done all of the hard work in calculating whatever the question is asking. So for example, the volume of a, um, of a shape, but then just at the last step, you need to convert your number, which is in currently in standard form, into this form here, scientific notation. Now just to recap, scientific notation is a way to write out very large or very small numbers. Rather than have to write out all of the digits like we can see here in the bottom right, we can write them in a more concise, compressed form like you can see here on the left hand side. So very, very useful if you're uh, writing out, say, the distance from the Earth to the Sun, that's a very, very long number. Or maybe the diameter of a cell in the body, it's a very, very small number. It's easier to actually write it out in scientific notation. Okay, let's work through these two examples here. The first is a large number and the second is a small number. So this first number here, 457,000, is currently in standard form and I'm going to convert that into scientific notation. Now currently the decimal point is at the right here, when it, whenever it's a whole number, the decimal point is on the right hand side. Now the trick, well not, not so much the trick, but the way to go about converting numbers into scientific notation is to think through how many times does the decimal point need to move such that this number here becomes a number between one and 10. So for example, 4.57 as opposed to 457,000. Well, the decimal point needs to move once, twice, three, four, five times. So just remember that number, five times. So this number here will become 4.57. I have converted this number into a number between one and 10. And the form of scientific notation is always times 10 to the power of, and the power is whatever number I have here, the number of decimal place movements. So the power of five. Now, because this is a large number, the power, or the exponent, will be positive. If it's a small number, like the second example here, which we'll get to in a second, the power will actually be a negative number, just like you can see here in the bottom left. This is a very small number, the power is negative. Okay, let's try the second example. Again, let's think through how many times does the decimal point need to move in order for this to become a number between one and 10, 5.82. Well, it needs to move once, twice, three times. So this number here becomes 5.82 multiplied by 10 to the power of three, but it will be a negative three because this is a small number. Okay, there are two examples of how to convert large and small numbers into scientific notation. Let's now have a go at an IB exam question. I have one down here. Okay, we're going to focus on part C in this question. This is a very common way that an IB exam question will be written. Give the answer to part B, part one. So that's this part here, three significant figures, this part here. Give, that, give this answer in the form of, now IB exam questions don't actually say the words scientific notation, but that's what this whole part here means. A times 10 to the K, where A is a number between one and 10, and K, which is the power, is an integer, or this Z here, which is a whole number. So this looks quite confusing, but really all it means is scientific notation. Okay, so let's convert this number into scientific notation. I'm gonna write it out again, so 0 0.0286. I need to convert this number into a number between one and 10, so the decimal point needs to be uh, after the two, 2.86. So the current decimal place needs to move once, twice. And it's a small number, so the number will become 2.86 multiplied by 10, to the power of negative two. And there we have it. That is the answer to part C in this IB exam question. And that concludes our video on scientific notation.